This question is uh, from a past paper for the uh, Cambridge IGCSE Business Studies. Now, when having a look at this question, uh, we need to make sure we fully, uh, fully understood what the question is asking. Uh, again, this is a common mistake made by students where they don't read the question properly and uh, it really, really does punish them. So let's do the technique of IDF. IDS stands for instruction, direction and focus. So let's have a look at the instruction first of all. Now the key instruction um, word or the command word is justify, uh, but it even has more in the question. It tells you to look at the advantages and the disadvantages. It tells you to recommend. So it does give you a lot of instructions within this question. Now when we're justifying, we know that we need to do this towards the end of the answer. And before we're able to do this, we need a balanced argument. We need to look at the advantages and the disadvantages before making this decision. And when we're making this decision, we're going to be offering a recommendation. So now let's have a look at the, uh, the direction. So the direction is, is directing you towards option A and directing you towards option B in the case study. So it's telling you to have a look at the case study, have a look at the two options, and that's where all the key information will be for this answer. That doesn't mean that the rest of the case study won't have important information as well. It might do, but it, the question is telling you that option A and option B is, um, is, is very, very significant towards this answer. So the last bit is the focus. The focus is the uh, is using the profitability ratios. Now I've seen a lot of students answer this question and not offer any profitability ratios at all. And it, again, if, if that's the case, you're not really answering the question. Uh, the only reason for that I, I can think of is the fact that you haven't revised the ratios, and that's that's really key. You need to have the knowledge in place. So uh, make sure that you are using the profitability ratios within your arguments uh, to help with the recommendation. Right, so we need to have a look at the case study and see what this, the current business situation is all about. Just remember, when we're offering an application, our initial points should derive directly from the case study. They shouldn't be generic in any way. They should relate to a Fabian's situation. So um, Fabian is starting a business selling flowers in country Z. Uh, as you can see in his... Um, in the appendix in terms of to make progress with his business idea he needs to and the second bullet point down decide whether to focus on option a customers or option b customers uh, and let's see below because that's again remind uh, just a reminder the question told you to focus on sorry directed you towards option a and option b so option a is business customers option b is retail customers Option A um, would be mainly hotels and restaurants, demanding fresh flower arrangements two times a week. The orders would be all year round. These customers would expect a trade credit. And just a reminder, a trade credit is that extra time to make the payment. And also a reduced price for regular orders. The projected financial data for the first year is sales revenue of $200,000. The cost of uh, producing the flowers is $40,000 and the expenses would be $120,000. And for you to calculate the profitability, you'd have to use those figures. Uh, for option B, uh, which are retail customers, they'd buy flowers regularly. And there'd also be higher sales for special occasions such as weddings, Valentine's Day and birthdays. Higher prices could be charged and customers would pay with cash. And again, the projected financial data for the first year is the revenue $120,000 cost of making the flowers would be $30,000 and the expenses would be $60,000. So when we're trying to work out the profitability, we can look at uh, lots of different op options. We could consider the gross profit. We could consider the gross profit margins. We could consider profit and the profit margins. And that's what we'll do first. We'll calculate those figures. So uh, the first thing we can calculate is the gross profit and the gross profit considers the relationship between um, the sales revenue, okay, the money that comes in from selling the goods and the actual cost of making the goods. So we can see here the revenue was 200,000 and the cost of making the flowers was 40,000 and therefore the gross profit is 160,000. Uh, again, with option B, uh, the, uh, the sales revenue is lower of 120,000 considerably lower actually. Uh, however, the cost of the flowers is lower and that's 30,000 and therefore the gross profit is 90,000, which again is, is considerably lower than option A. So if we work out the gross profit margins now. So um, if we uh, use the gross profit, 
and we divide it by the sales revenue, we'll get 0.8 to make it into a margin uh, and a percentage times by 100 and you'll get 80%. Um, for option B, again, the, the gross profit is 90,000 divided by the sales revenue of 120,000. You get 0.75, turn into a margin and a percentage, and you'll get 75%. So again, we could use it as a comparison. We could use this within one of our analytical points to suggest that option A might be better because the gross profit margin is 5% higher. But we can't just base it on gross profit. We also need to look at the relationship with expenses. So we need to calculate the profit. So again, we'll do that now. So um, we've used the gross profit and we've, we've minus the expenses. And we can see here expenses are significantly high, $120,000. And we've got a profit of $40,000. So option A would give us a profitability of $40,000. Option B, uh, again, the gross profit, 90,000, minus by the expenses, 60,000. And we've got a, a profit of 30,000, which actually um, is only 10,000 lower than option, um, option A. And we can see that there is an issue with option A in terms of their expenses. It's, it's significantly higher than option B, and, it, and it, is, it probably would bring about a worry and something that we need to consider within our analysis. Now, let's do the final one and let's look at the profit margin and see if that's any different. So this time we can see that there, if we have a look at the profit and we divide by, again, their sales revenue, we can get a, a profit margin of 20%. But with option B, when we get the um, the profit of 30,000 divided by the sales revenue of 120,000, it gives you a higher profit margin of 25%. So therefore, that does suggest that the expenses for option A, is, is, it, it could cause problems and something that we need to explore. So now we've got all the financial information. We can see that sales revenue is higher for option A, which is obviously a, a bonus. Um, the cost, though, for option A is higher than option B, which could bring about worry. We can say the gross profit and the gross profit margin is better for option A. We can say that option A does actually generate a higher profit. However, option B generates a better profit margin. So now what we need to do is we need to use this financial information within our argument, but we can't just rely on quantitative information. Yes, if you did calculate this, you would pick up marks, but to get higher marks, uh, we'd have to use it within an argument and we'd have to embed some of the qualitative information as well. So uh, again, if we have a look at the, the qualitative information in option A, uh, they'd be demanding fresh flower arrangements two times a week, which is regular, and the orders would be all year round, which would be more stable. Uh, these customers would expect a trade credit though, which could be an issue, uh, especially because it would delay inflows for uh, Fabian, and there'd be a reduced price for regular orders, which could be a disadvantage because again, it could impact their revenue. However, their, their sales revenue is strong at this moment in time. Option B, uh, again, it'd be quite regular uh, and there'd be higher sales for special occasions such as weddings, Valentine's Days and birthdays, uh, which they could definitely embrace and they could really take advantage of. Uh, higher prices, uh, added value would be charged and customers would pay with cash. Therefore, there would be no delay in their inflows. There's no trade, trade credits would be offered. However, the, the main disadvantages would be that, uh, well, look at the financial information, um, the sales revenue is, is much lower. Now, what I've done uh, is I've uh, I've already created model um, paragraph points, which we'll look at uh, just to show you how you should develop your points. Remember, we don't want all these points that I've just mentioned because what you'd be doing then is you'd be cutting into your analysis and you would be, you would not be developing your point enough. What you need to do is pick the key priority points and then really uh, concentrate on the development of that point. So this is my first point. Um, as Fabian is supplying to hotels and restaurants, and as the case to these states, they'll be demanding all year round, twice a week. This suggests a regular in income. As you can see from the financial information, the revenue is expected to be $80,000 higher than option B, and this is probably due to the regular demand. Um, therefore, this should boost their profit levels and has allowed them a profit of $40,000. However, a lot of their sales are based on trade credits which could be problematic as they might be chasing up the cash depending on the reliability of the customer, which may hurt their cash flow even if their profit seems high. So how I've uh, structured this point is uh, I've done my main point, I've explained why that's my main point, I've, uh, I've concentrated what that will lead to and what that will mean, but also I've considered 
depends upon the depends upon the negative point of option A is. It's all well and good making these sales, but until we actually um, receive the inflow, then there's an issue. Yes, it may it may seem that profit is high, uh, but at the same time, cash flow could be low. So that's my first paragraph, and now let's have a look at option B. So this is my option B point. Uh, their sales revenue is considerably lower, which is resulting in a profit of thirty thousand dollars. And again, in brackets, I've just put a comparison, uh, which is ten thousand lower than option A. However, their costs are much lower, and therefore, if they're able to increase the sales, this could make a significant difference. The case study also states that they could increase prices for special occasion, which may boost their contribution, and therefore, profit figures could massively increase. So there is uh, there is hope. There's optimism within this scenario and uh, they have got many opportunities that they could really embrace and the fact that their costs are lower and um, all they need to do is find ways of increasing sales and that would really help uh, their chances so now um, again I'm, I'm leading up to my conclusion throughout the um throughout the points for option a and option b there's clear application there's technical uh, terminology and i've developed the points so now i need to make sure that i evaluate it because there's two marks that I could lose if I don't evaluate and justify it well. So what I've said here is I would select option A. Uh, just just to also state that there's no wrong answer here. You could you could have picked option B. You could have picked option A. In the mark scheme, there won't uh, you won't lose marks because of the option that you've picked because there's arguments, strong arguments for both. I've just gone with option A, and uh, the main reason why is due to the higher revenue. Uh, not only is the profit uh, $10,000 greater, but the gross profit margin is also 5% higher, 80% uh, gross profit, uh, which suggests how positive their contribu contribution is for option A. However, uh, I would monitor the expenses, so that it depends upon. It's, it's Yes, it's positive, it's good, the profit levels are better, but there is uh, a sense of worry over their expenses. However, I would monitor the expenses. They're significantly higher than option B, and therefore I'd aim to reduce this to boost their net profit margins. So this answer, um, it would tick all the boxes in terms of development, application, uh, knowledge, and analysis with the evaluation as well.